What up, YouTube? My name is Doug. This is me trying to reinvent my shop. Alright, so I'm currently sitting in my car trying to let the freaking cooling system bleed, which is driving me insane because I cannot get this freaking air bubble out. Um, I figured I'll go ahead and do my introduction as to uh, me, who I am, what I do, and all this other jazz like that. So, again, my name is Doug. Um, what I was thinking of doing is trying to do like these other cats out here who have these YouTube pages. They're, uh, some put out good information, some put out crap. You notice there's a whole lot of um, drift fails, a lot of fail car videos out there. I don't want to do that. I don't want to promote people getting hurt and fucking up their cars. So, so far as videos from other people, you'll probably see a whole bunch of wins videos from me. Um, I am a gearhead, been a gearhead since I was two. Probably before that, come from a family of gearheads. My dad used to work for GM. My uncle had a badass at 96. No, actually, he had a 95 SS Impala. Cracked the block. I don't know what he's doing. Probably racing on him. Anyway, that's what we do. We build cars. I grew up American Muscle. Switched over to Honda. Came around, and now I'm uh, German. I love BMWs. With this particular camera, I cannot switch the view, so I can't just move around. So we do this. Boom. There we go. Uh, you'll see an introduction of my uh, E38 momentarily. So like I said, this is my 2001 BMW 740iL. I got her a few months ago from a young lady, older lady actually, who was relocating to Panama, Nicaragua. She was going somewhere. I don't know where the hell she was going. But she let this car go for dirt cheap. As you will see momentarily, the car was totaled when I got it. And I have since rebuilt it. Had a pretty bad hit on the front end, and uh, you know, car insurance companies don't want to pay for that because of the age of the car. So I rebuilt it. Went in here. Engine cover is not on it because I'm uh, having some issues, as usual, with uh, 38s and the cooling system and uh, the rear intake cover back there. Got some smoke coming out the exhaust. I need to replace it. In addition to replacing this hose and the water valve down there. Got an air bubble in there, it's pissing me off. I can't get a bled. Anyway, outside of that, the car runs immaculately. I love it. I've had, I'm gonna say, four or five of them. And uh, I think this may be my last one. It's gonna be my Coup de Gras, the best one that I build. But as you can see right now, she's pretty much bone stock. It's not a sport, but I have color matched the trim and I've gone shadow line so far as the door molding is concerned. A lot of it needs to be redone. I got more important stuff to take care of right now, so it's not on the top of the priority list. If you look at it, you can actually see the color difference. I looked up on some color matched parts for the collision parts, but again, you can see the difference right there. Lighter, darker. Not flipping you off, but that side is darker. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I will show you the trunk, but it's a mess right now, so we'll come back to that. Interior is nasty. Carpet was stained. And, uh, I mean, other than that, there's no rips or anything, so it's in decent condition. Nothing I can't handle. The headliner decided to start sagging on me, so I swapped that out for a suede headliner. That platinum color is going to be coming out. I'm going to go with the black. The interior swap is going to be to black. As you can see, the cabinet started with the uh, Euro armor is right there. But this is it. Nothing really special. But you can stay tuned, watch my mods, and um, you know, random car videos that'll be coming up. I have some special appearances by my beautiful wife and my two beautiful princesses who will be accompanying me in a lot of these videos. But for now, I'm about to fight with this bleeding. Now again, my car is running. I truly don't want to stand behind it because I'm catless right now and I got the car. The rear intake cover was messed up on it and I blew a lot of oil through the exhaust and it ended up clogging up my cats. So I cut those off and I intend on putting my cats back on. I just haven't gotten around to that. Well, I got most of the parts at home, I just gotta do it. So the reason I'm back here is to explain why my bumper is too tall. 
uh, 4th of July weekend, somebody decided to hit my car, kissed me nicely right here in this little space, and broke it. Again, I lucked up on the color match part. Unfortunately, the base of it was not painted, so I have to paint that. I'm trying to wait until I do my exhaust before I paint it so I can do my cutouts for my exhaust and then paint it all at one time. Makes a little bit more sense. So a little more about my car. As you can see right here, she's got uh, 189,000 miles on it. Uh, airbag light is on because this door harness is, is damaged. The airbag isn't even in this door. I got to put my airbag in here and replace the door harness, but I got the parts at home, just haven't gotten around to it. God forbid I get in an accident with a side impact. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little hurt. Anywho, um, I got an MK2 navigation gear, which is currently not functional because I need to replace the tuner. I gotta get my hands on one of those, we get that squared away. I hate this phone dock. That will be changing soon too. I love the way this is, it's sitting here, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I gotta change this shit, I don't like that. That's some truck driver shit, I don't like that. Uh, my car appears to be a six-speed, but it's not. My last 38 was, so I decided to use the boot to make it look like it's a stick, and I also modified my gear shifter itself so that way I can park in neutral as if I had an SMG setup. It's corny, but I like it. I replaced this too. I reversed my uh, Steptronic, which I actually retrofitted. This car, again, is not a sport, but I put the Steptronic shifter in here. I got a 315 diff at home I got to throw in here. Uh, if I can get my hands on a high stall torque converter, we'll do that as well. But we'll see what's gonna happen with that. Got a new dashboard at home, as you can see right here. Airbag cover is loose, heat damage, what have you. And a uh, suede headliner, which this is a really bad view. Can't zoom out anymore. I like the color, but it will be dirty constantly. I still like it, so we'll talk later. I do have the rear shade option and it actually works flawlessly. I have the rear shade as well as you can see right here. That one needs to be replaced. It's coming. Again, I have more important things to deal with right now, so I'm not really concerned about all the little small quirks because I have the parts at home. I just gotta do it. 